Next, it's the grand finale of our road car versus race car track challenge. It's power versus skill. We're finding out if the combination of rookie in a race car is faster than racing driver in a road car, with two of the most extreme Volvos you've ever seen. The conditions on the Swedish under Storp circuit are extreme. It's rained heavily, so it's been hard for me to learn how to drive Fred's race car. I don't know where the wipers are, Fred. Despite never having driven a touring car before, I managed to take Frederick's race machine to overall victory in a 200-metre drag race. I might have just nosed ahead. But we've been blown away by the performance of the road legal S60 Super Saloon. Now it's time to test them both over a flying lap. Right now, Fred is trying to set a best lap in the standard Polestar car around the Anderstorp circuit, the North Loop. Flat out, close to 200 kilometers. Once he's got a, a lap time that he's happy with, he's going to come in, I'm going to go out and try and beat him. But the difference is, I'm going to be in his race car. The time to beat is 59.6 seconds. Before I try and smash it in Fred's 200 grand race weapon, he's showing me the racing line. We're in the, the production car of what, of what you race. This S60 has been fine-tuned by Polestar, Volvo's racing division. It's got faster gear shifts than a standard S60, whilst the all-wheel drive software puts more emphasis on rear torque, giving it a more rear-wheel drive character. Take your braking point into the corner, use the banking, and then get quite early on the power. The grip of this car is, is stunning. They've tweaked the four-wheel drive to suit a more aggressive driving style and, and you know, it's still a, a family car which you can take, to the, take the kids to school in. Yeah. Here, it's uh, second gear. You can cut the curbs quite hard here. If you go a little bit wide, that's okay. And then you flow outside to the outer apex and sometimes you can even go outside of that curbs, but not today when it's raining because then they're, they're really slippery. I mean, this is almost Volvo's answer to Audi's S4, for example. Loads of turbocharged grunt, four-wheel drive, amazing traction, even in this kind of horrible weather. Now it's time for me to set my own lap in the race car. In my test runs earlier, I wasn't exactly confident and struggled to push the car to the limit. Yet somehow I had to pull everything together and beat a lap time of 59.6 seconds. And just to heap on the pressure, Fred would be climbing on board next to me. Good. Uh, that clutch is not my best friend. No, it's not mine either. So. For him, you know, I, I, I can only imagine if you, you, know, you don't know the track, you don't know the car, you have a lot of power and then, uh, you know, a lot of rain. It's, it's, it's not a good combination, so... Uh, he, he was shaken, you know, I could see that before the start, for sure. Things didn't go well on my opening lap as I approached the Nora corner. Please your position until the car is off track. Wait until the car is off track. It makes back up. God, that work. I went in a little bit quicker than normal. And right out. Sorry. No, it was fun, you know, have a little spin, end up in the grass, it's no problem, you know. We didn't hit anything, nobody got hurt, and, and uh, the car is okay, so any time, no problem. With a little bit of help, we were on the move again. I'm just glad I didn't damage the car. Okay, Johnny, we are getting close to uh, start and finish line, so uh, get prepared. Okay. Man, I always... I was seriously nervous. I was concentrating so hard. I was really gripping the wheel very hard. I wasn't talking a lot at all. OK, let's go. Remember your lines now. I wanted to make sure I didn't brake too late and get the car unsettled and really twitchy. It's mid-engined, it's quite well balanced, but, you know, it's still terrible rain, lots of standing water on the track. Well, take care of the puddles now. It. On this track, it's quite a long corner, so you need to really be very gentle, and I think that's, that sort of suits his driving style. That's good. That's good. 
Keep the line. Apply power. Flat. Good. Fred in the passenger seat was fantastic. Very cool, very calm, very encouraging. Now use the reps. All the way. Good time. Yeah? I clocked to one minute and one second dead. 1.4 seconds behind Fred's road car time. This thrilling experience has taught me that in treacherous conditions, skill and grip are far more important than power. The fast but rock steady Polestar road car also shows that it's time to take Volvo seriously when it comes to four wheel speed. It's more controllable than the race car. The car is on track. It felt as fast as I could go, given the amount of time I've had on this track in that car. It was, uh, it was wetter when he was out driving and uh, he was a few seconds off me, but uh, I, I'm, I'm impressed. I, he did a good job. We did a final run with it disabled. Turn it the other way. Well, I've turned it the other way. Oh, it nail the throttle. So I can feel how it moves around at the limit. But this car is a control freak. While it has let me disable its traction control, the gadget that stops wheel spin, its stability control cuts